I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Senator John Kennedy questioned DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas about the Disinformation Governance Board at Wednesday's Senate Appropriations Committee hearing. The Louisiana lawmaker focused on Nina Jankowitz, the controversial pick to lead the newly announced department. Kennedy specifically called out her TikTok videos. Republicans have criticized Jankowitz over past statements that took aim at conservative viewpoints. The DHS secretary attempted to reassure senators that the governance board would not be targeting or censoring conservative speech. Here's that exchange. Mr. Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Welcome, Mr. Secretary. It's nice to see you again. Thank you, Senator. Likewise. I, uh, I think you're a nice man, and I mean that. Uh, I am in awe of Ms. Jankowitz. I have watched her with slack-jawed astonishment. Who picked her? Senator, the, uh, Senator Kennedy, it's nice to see you as well. The Department of Homeland Security selected Ms. Jankowitz. Who at the department? Um, Senator, we, we don't discuss our hiring, our internal hiring processes, but I am the Secretary of Homeland Security, and ultimately I am responsible. When, you, uh, when the department picked her, did, did it know that she had said that Mr. Hunter Biden's laptop is Russian disinformation? Um, Senator, uh, let me let me uh, repeat myself and add one uh, other fact. I was not aware of that. Uh, we do not discuss the internal hiring process. Ultimately, as the secretary, I'm responsible for the decisions of the Department of right. Homeland Security. When when uh, when the department picked Ms. Jankowitz, did it know that she had vouched for the veracity of the Steele dossier? Uh, Senator, let me um, repeat myself and add an, an additional fact. Um, uh, one, uh, we do not discuss uh, internal hiring processes. Two, I was not aware of that fact. Uh, three, as the Secretary of Homeland Security, I am responsible for the decisions of the department. And four, uh, it is my understanding that Ms. Jankowicz is a subject matter expert in the field for, in which she will be working on behalf of the department. Yeah, I can tell. When, when the department picked her, was the department aware of her TikTok videos? Uh, Senator, um, uh, I Th was... They're really quite precocious. Um, uh, Senator, um, I was not uh, aware uh, of those videos. I, as a secretary, am responsible for the decisions of the department. Uh, the department does not discuss its internal hiring processes. Well, how will this DS, I'm sorry, this DGB work? For example, um, when President Obama, Obama said with respect to Obamacare, when he said, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Is that something that the DGB will investigate? Senator, the, um, the working group that we named the Disinformation Governance Board uh, does not have operational authority and does not have operational capability. But there's a more fundamental principle uh, that really strikes at the question that you have posed. And that is that our mission is to protect the security of the homeland. And we address disinformation when it threatens the security of the homeland. For example, okay. Let, when, me, let me interrupt when, you, Mr. Secretary, because I don't have much time. I would, I'd like to hear that example, and perhaps we can talk privately. Uh, I, I want to continue probing how your DGB will work. Um, when President Clinton was being investigated for having uh, an affair with a White House in, intern, and he said. I did not have sex with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. Is that something the DGB would investigate? Senator, again, let me be clear that the department's responsibility is to address disinformation that threatens 
the security of the homeland. And importantly, the working group was established because this disinformation work has been ongoing for nearly 10 years. The, the working group was established precisely to protect against the infringement on individuals' First Amendment rights, precisely to protect yes. the right of privacy. Because can, can I ask you a couple more for I run out of time. I think the chairman may let me go over a minute. I hope he does. Um, will, be, will the DGB be given its own police, its own enforcement powers? Senator, uh, as I have articulated, the working group does not have operational authority or capability. Its purpose is to make sure that the work that is underway in protecting the homeland that has been executed for nearly 10 years is done within guardrails according to policies and standards that ensure that that work does not infringe on people's fundamental First Amendment rights, right. right of privacy, civil rights, and civil liberties. Right. Yeah. The government's going to tell us what's true, what could possibly go wrong. Quite, Can I ask you is, one last question? Of course, it, and is, that is quite is, incorrect. Is that is the, quite incorrect. Is the DGB going to accept referrals from the public where people can call in and say, I think uh, Senator so-and-so said something unt untrue, and I want you to subpoena him? Senator, it is so very important that I correct a misstatement uh, that you made that the, um, the Department of Homeland Security is going to be the truth police. That is the farthest thing from the truth. We protect the security of the homeland. And once again, allow me to articulate what I have said previously, which is that the working group does not have operational capability and authority. It is to make sure that there are policies in place standards in place to protect the very rights about which you inquire. Mr. Chair Mr. Chairman, I'm, this will be my last comment. Mr. Mr. Secretary, I meant what I said. It is nice to see you, and I do think you're a nice man. But I would call in as soon as you get back to the office, uh, and I would ask that person who recommended Ms. Jankowicz to you, and I would fire him on the spot. Senator Hyde-Smith. <clears throat> 